Ciao a tutti. Today I want to give you four ways to stand apart from other tourists and make a great impression on Italians by being polite. And here's how we do it. The first one is please. I know please may seem pretty obvious, um, but there are three different ways to say please and you should know them. The first one is per favore, per favore. Uh, this is uh, great to know because it is uh, used in formal situations, in informal situations, and works anytime. So uh, definitely pull this one out when you need it. If we want to elevate it just a little bit, slightly more formal, slightly uh, a bit more um, flowery in language, we can say per piacere, per piacere. And then stepping it up one notch, uh, we can use per cortesia, per cortesia. This is slightly old fashioned. It might be a bit awkward to use with family and friends. But if you want to be uh, use something to truly kind of wow uh, the shopkeepers and individuals you interact with, if you say per cortesia, uh, you'll do something that many other tourists don't do, and it will come off as being uh, a very nice poetic way of asking for something. Then we have flattery. Uh, Italians use flattery quite often. So if you're in a shop, if you're interacting with folks, if they're doing things for you, uh, using this kind of flattery and uh, expressing this politeness will make a difference. You can say, e gentilissimo, e gentilissimo. It is just so uh, very kind of you. So someone's offering you a discount or they're giving you something or bringing you something or telling you about something, right? You could use this or you could say, oh, molto gentile, molto gentile. It is so kind. Two different ways to say that. Then we have, che bello, che bello, how beautiful. Or simply, bello. If you're admiring something in a shop, if you're admiring a landscape or the scenery, uh, if someone brings you a plate of pasta or a, a dish that's just arranged so beautiful, um, you could say, ah, che bello. Uh, it is so uh, nice. Then we have grazie, thank you, grazie, thank you. Uh, very important Italian and just a reminder of that uh, expression. And we have piacere, piacere. It's a pleasure. We say this after someone introduces himself uh, to us. Or we can say, e un piacere. It is a pleasure. So or perhaps someone thanks you for doing something for them. And you say, e un piacere. It's a pleasure to help you. Or they ask if you'd like to go for a walk with them or accompany them for a coffee or something, right? You might say, e un piacere. It is a pleasure to do this thing. Greetings. I don't have ciao on here. Ciao can be okay in informal circumstances. If someone says ciao to you uh, with friends and family, it's perfectly fine. But if you're not sure, we're much better off to use salve, salve, hello, which works in uh, formal and informal situations, as well as buongiorno, good morning, or good day. Uh, buongiorno, buongiorno works all the way up until uh, a bit after the lunch hour. Buonasera, buonasera, good afternoon or good evening. And then I could say good night, but I didn't include that in here. Good night is buonanotte, but we don't use buonanotte unless we're parting for the night or saying uh, good night to someone, not as a greeting. So I, 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 I didn't include that one here. Next, we have making requests. So if you're asking for something, if you want a coffee or you want to get something at a store, um, right, you would say, Vorrei, vorrei, I would like. This comes across so much better than saying voglio, I want, or and a heck of a lot better than pointing and say, you know, that one, questo, quello. Uh, so vorrei un caffè, per favore, I would like a coffee, please. And you will set yourself apart from 99% of other tourists and probably most Italians as well. And individuals will be quite impressed with you. Uh, asking, posso, posso, can I? So before you maybe touch fruit or vegetables at a fruit stand, um, before you uh, touch merchandise in a store, before you take a picture somewhere of someone's artwork or in a museum, you should uh, make sure you say posso and perhaps point to that, that phone where you're about to snap that photograph. Permesso, permesso we've used before uh, when we're talking about getting through a crowd or trying to get off a bus or something like that or get through. But permesso is also quite important when you're entering a shop. If you're entering a shop and you don't see anybody, it's a small store, you want to make sure you announce that you're coming in and say, permesso, 
just like that. Uh, or if you're entering someone's private space, you want to enter someone's apartment or you know uh, maybe their, um, their hotel room or something uh, or an office. Before you enter, you have to right there, you simply say, uh, you knock first, you go, permesso, and they'll say, prego, please come right in, is typically what they would do. And that's just the protocol for it. And if you do that, you'll come off as very culturally savvy. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, per favore, check out the book for more tips. Grazie mille and buona giornata. Have a great day.